Hello there everyone, welcome back once again as we're back in for another episode of Final Fantasy 2! <sighs> and so here we are again as we try to go through the Jaded Passage to get into Castle Pandemonium and there we shall explore what's within Pandemonium and hopefully we will complete the dungeon with taking out the Emperor who has risen from the depths of hell itself. So, let's get this underway, huh? Uh, feels good to be back. Mm, but not really, actually. Never feels good to have to go through this place, especially when there are great marbles just waiting around the corner for us. Well, on the bright side, everyone is really doing better at uh, fighting, and Leon's HP is getting up there, so let's see. Pretty sure it was supposed to be this door that will take us down, I believe. Yep, it was that door. Awesome. Alright. Salamanders, so we can get rid of them with a uh, quick lizard spell if I recall correctly. Oh, yeah, there's the element of weakness, but it looks like they have a little bit more HP than I've noticed. All of them. Make sure that uh, our spells are hitting the white ones. Make sure that we are following up for the white ones as well. Uh, well, great. That was awesome. Great. Fantastic. I mean, Leon, I guess Leon is getting there with at least learning how to fight, I suppose. Or Salamanders. Fantastic. Honestly, with how, with how easy we can actually take these guys out, I mean, I don't see any reason, real reason for us to have to waste out MP on these guys. Granted, it would be good spell training, but I mean... Sometimes you just simply need to go on the physical side every once in a while. But against the dragons, well... I think I... I think there's no real shame in actually uh, going for their elemental weakness. Hey, movie is fine. I'd love to see that. Or salamanders. Well, this is fine. Ooh, four great marbles. That is not okay with me. I am. Not exactly, uh, I don't think I can really fight four of them at once. Okay, but this kind of fight we can do. Okay, this is a fight that I can do. Go ahead and just simply take out the Great Malpro and just let everyone else just start walking down the, uh, abyss forms. More Salamanders. That is easy enough for us. Uh, 
That's right, everyone. Keep increasing those stats for me. Or this one, so. Alright. This is another auto battle. Because <sighs> I'm pretty sure I actually. Not too sure whether I tested the elements of the Abyss Worms or not, but I'm pretty sure that these guys are like actually just simply. Uh, they don't really have an elemental weakness or anything, they're just super tough and doable and stuff. Sphinxes, don't you dare use your stupid bad breath on me. Thank you. Now, uh, which door was it again? I think it was... White door? Hey, I was right. Okay, pretty sure... Uh, four of them, huh? Probably should have healed up Leon just a little bit, but I guess we can just do it now. Oh, good thing that we healed up. Ah, uh, there he goes. Well, that's why we have the life spell. Cyclone, I'm not terribly sure if that would kill. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's... Oh, nice shot, everyone. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and use Guy to heal up. Sure it's this door. Best worms. Strange how the fact that these abyss worms are just being like they're using these like high powered stuff because it's like they're using like cyclone 16s and it's just like they're actually not really doing that much damage despite i mean granted it is a party white but still oh geez no cyclone 13 so it's just like but i'm just kind of surprised that they're not doing like more i suppose uh, yeah let's just go ahead and See about trying to get out of here because I don't like how things are looking. Ooh. Getting ambushed by great apples on that is never a fun time. Okay, but one great map world is a lot easier to. Sphinxes, great. Come on, we're almost there. Pretty sure we uh, should be getting to the last part of this stupid dungeon.
Oh, that's a lot of best wolves. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and not do that because having to shoot through all those abyss worms would be kind of annoying. I have to mention those abyss worms do actually hurt when they land attacks against certain people. Cough, cough, Leon. Four chimera sphinxes. Let's not fight them. I mean, even though we have pretty good chance of just simply fighting them, but if one of them uses their bad breath and just simply stones the entire party, well, actually, no, we do have the helm, so we do have a chance of actually breaking people out, so you know what? Sure, why not? And one more fight for the board, huh? All right. Ah, I storm. And there goes Bolivia. All right. Everyone focus on the battle. HP heal up for the world. Alright, into Pandemonium. Oh, and here we are again. That's why they're in a Mantis Devil. Right, well, at least we know what the Death Rider is weak to, so we can just simply do that. And I'm pretty sure when we have fought the Mantises in the past, they were weak to. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and see if that still holds true. Uh, yeah, honestly, kind of hard to tell. I mean, fire obviously cures a stupid devil, but. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and. Oh, that's for that why does hell that wins. That's yeah. That's a lot of death widers. Oh I didn't want we'll fight them. So we'll separate it with Firian and Firian and Rubia each firing one and Leon and Guy can help with cleaning up the other two. And there goes Leon. Jeez, why do they have to do so much bloody damage? Alright. Life. Yeah. Jeez. I guess we should still be careful about having to face off against those bloody death knights up there and they come in large groups, so... Oh, come on, ambush! Alright, fine. Don't appreciate that at all, like, why do you do so much bloody damage? Metro Golem's Thunder, I believe, was your weakness. Let's 
Weißt nicht, wie sehr ich da. Although I suppose it makes sense, they are golems after all. But thankfully, as long as we just simply keep exploiting their weakness, we should be able to get through this all right. Alright, second floor, fine. Uh, ambush, but plan is still the same as usual. Okay, could you please not just simply beat up guy? I mean, yeah, I know, weakest character on the team and all, but still... Rude. Guy only has so much MP to restore his health, you know? Well, I think we have all these eaters. Might as well use them proactively so that way we can keep the party topped up. Oh, great. Alright, uh, I think obvious answer is go for the Death Riders and let have. And just simply let Leon try and do some work on the uh, middle. Because at least Maria and Vivian can take on the. can just simply one shot when they're targeting their weakness. Oh, those guys dropped in a bit, so thank you very much for that. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and take care of these zombies. Stop trying to chomp the party! Ay ay ay. Nope, wrong character. Okay. Oh, okay. I was definitely a bit scared there because I was setting the auto battle uh, speed up uh, animations there, but I was definitely worried that we were going to have uh, Furion and we are uh, hitting them with the uh, long spells. So, let's see. So, teleporter is right over there. But I am kind of curious to see... I mean, they look like pillars. But, I mean, I can't honestly tell if they are pillars or if they're not. And those are coals. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and kill those guys real fast. Lamias, that's fine. We just come like. Did we just simply like come across like a pet of Lamias or something? I mean. Oh, great. Well. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, could you stop beating up Leon? I only have so much MP, you know. Okay, so it looks like these are just regular pillars. Well, uh, good to know that now versus uh, when we think there is a mechanism when they are actually. Good to think. Good to know that they're actually pillars versus thinking that they're mechanisms and trying to somehow use them to get to like hidden locations and whatnot. Oh, cool. Awesome. A bit more coals. Now we apparently... Now apparently we keep treading on these cat's tails. Alright, we want to go this way. Little, go ahead and thunder. I mean, on the bright side, these little golems are giving Leon the chance to really start improving his thunder spelling, so. Only problem with this is that I would actually kind of prefer if Leon can start learning his fire spell a bit better. Actually, I mean, if we're thinking about trying to train up Phil. Leon's fire spell, we might as well just simply have him just simply be using the fire spell and fights that uh, everyone else can just kind of auto. Unfortunately, he, give, he keeps getting put to stuff by Lamias, so get that too. So unfortunately, that plan kind of doesn't work out a lot. Okay. Four teleporters. I don't think we actually went to this... Well, four doors. Don't think we went to this third one yet, so... What's behind this door? Let's see. So if we follow the map, it will go through that pillar, go down, head right, go through another one. That, which will lead to the Tiamat boss fight. Which will, okay, I think that Okay, I think we actually hit the white door to hit the white teleporter, so that's good. Ooh, that's a lot of holes. Let's go ahead and kill those guys before we have uh, problems. That guards against instant death. I mean, and it has it reduces our strength, reduces our defense by one, but it does give us better magical defense. Not to mention, it's protecting from instant death. And one of the things I fear about the coals is the fact that they just simply be like, "Wow, you dead now." Yeah, you know what? I think we have to take the protect wing. Lowers our uh, defense, but honestly, I am willing to make the trade for it. Oh, that's a lot of bombs. Okay. Uh.
actually guy I'm pretty sure even without having to target the elemental weaknesses of these bombs, you can still do some damage at least. Uh, we might be seeing some self-destructs. Oh shit. Yeah. I forgot to retarget. Okay. Yeah, since you are the fire gigas, Blizzard is gonna be your weakness. Okay, there's a great map row in the party, so you know what, let's just go ahead and... Take care of you will fast. Okay. A great Mabo. I'll take you out real fast. Curse. I actually don't really know what this does to us. I'm pretty sure we already did this fight, which has like TMRs or something, so... Let's just go ahead and hide the Devil's Bloom. Thank you, out fast. Thankfully the Beast Demons don't seem to be that much of an issue despite being a weak color. Two Devil's Blooms, uh, I mean... Okay, looks like we can still take care of two Devil's Blooms, thankfully. Alright, fourth floor. More Devil Wolves. Fantastic. Metal Golems, fantastic! Okay, well... At least... At least some of the fights once you kind of learn the matchups and they're, they're not that difficult, thankfully. Dang it! Well... Thankfully it's a simple fight to get some coals. Now, with three of our people having protect things now, then it's just like, it's so much better. Okay, I was kind of concerned there because Maria is the only one who doesn't have the instant death on her, so... S seventh floor? Alright, well that was a jump and a half right there. Let's take a look at the out. So, looks like... Oh. They're just going all the way around, huh? Alright. Okay. You know what, we might as well try and take this opportunity to trade up Leon's fire against these uh, weaker parties, so... I was going to use this strat, but then I think I got distracted or something, so... Let's go ahead and just simply get Leon's Fire, basically. If we can get Leon's Fire up there, then we should have an easier time on having to deal with any Death Rider groups. Oh, that's a lot of calls, but I mean... We do have the protection against instant death, so I'm feeling a bit better about the matchup now. And of course, the calls hit the one person who doesn't have the bloody instant death protection. Ah, uh, suck my balls. Uh, let's 
Let's go ahead and just simply do a quick uh, separation of duties roll here. Thunder 10. Does bloody nothing to us. <laughs> That's the self-destructs I was anticipating. Alright, well... Back to using Blizzard. There's less of them, so. Who knows, we might actually be able to kill all the bombs this time around. Nice shot, team. Too much of a trouble for us to get to the teleporter, so. Nice Geekers! Oh, I mean, I definitely don't mind this at all. Because that just simply means that we can just simply do a non stop casting of fire, yeah. Box fall and thankfully Fabian did not die. Uh, no, wait. I'm. Uh, I couldn't tell whether I was going the right way or not. Pretty sure these devil wolves probably do, in, like, do inflict like some kind of status ailment, but just bad that we didn't get inflicted with anything. Uh, okay, no, we can actually use these stairs to get to the uh, teleporter. That's good. Uh, you know what? Uh, the bombs are probably going to self-destruct anyway, so you know what? Let's just go ahead and. If the bomb self-destruct, then they self-destruct, I'd say. Okay, the one time I actually accepted the fact that the bombs would self-destruct, they somehow managed to miss. Did, like, their fu Did they misplace their fuses or something? Okay, the dragon. Um, so white dragon was... White dragon was fire, green dragon was... What was the Green Dragon we to? I think Green Dragon was done. Green Dragon was either Thunder or Blizzard. Uh, I think Scourge is the right answer here? Question mark? Not too entirely sure, but only one way to find out. Okay, Scourge was the answer. Because its color pattern reminded me of the stone golems, and the stone golems were weak to the scourge spell. But man, that 
Blue Dragon actually had like a chunk, had like some HP there. I think we're getting to the end. Dang it. Well, I mean, if we're getting to the end, no real reason for us to hold back anymore. Because, I mean, if our journey is so close to the end, then we might as well just be going in with, without having to waste as much stuff. Yep, here it is. Alright. We are here. Oh my goodness. And of course there's like one more round one, really. You're literally putting the boss of the Viathan right in front of us. Jeez. Insulting! Okay, these round worms actually have like uh The round worms actually do have like a bit of HP, but I mean don't seem to be. They don't seem to do as much damage compared to like the Abyss ones. Which is kind of funny. Let's do this! You have braved the bells of hell to reach me. But the hand of man which deals in false justice and forsaken love can never hope to defeat the Lord Master of Hell. I don't think you really have any right to be judging us. Alright. Final battle! Alright, uh, Berserk. Uh, Blink. Oh my goodness, we deal no damage to you. We might be in for a long one, folks. Flare? Uh-oh. Okay, thankfully that was single target on the are so... Next, which one? Pretty sure haste was a was haste a white magic spell. I guess it must have been, but we do have aura. Nope, haste was not a fire, thunder, blizzard, scourge, warp, sleep, sun, storm, curse, break, berserk, blind, death, total dream. Huh. Did we not even learn the... Well, I mean, if we didn't learn... Oh no, we had... We had a uh, Leon burn it. Okay, that's good. Oh my goodness, zero damage. Well... Let's go ahead and buff up and see what we can do here. Because, uh... If we're too weak to actually fight the Emperor, we might have a problem. Used out or uh, you know what? I've been saving these, so hold on. Where is Dinkos? Sages. Do we want to use Sages Wisdom or Saint Spirit? Uh, okay, Sages Wisdom is our. Then we have Shell. You know what? See? See what we can do with Leon using Flare. Uh, well it does damage. 
Oh, and his basic attacks heal himself. Bloody lovely. Okay. Okay, I think what we'll do is to use Sage's Wisdom on Valian. We'll... Use Fire for Movia. Guy... Go ahead and wait up a barrier. Go ahead and use the Sage's Wisdom on Leon. Okay, that did a little bit more damage, but... Oh, don't go. Be casting slow. What else do we have? Wall? Okay. And we'll have Leon use the Saint Spirit on Guy. This way... Our stats will be maxed out as much as possible. Yeah. We really don't do a lot of damage to him. Curse? What does that do? I'm a bit scared. Because this is the first time I'm actually seeing Curse in action, but the thing is, we do have the cross to remove Curse if we have to. Well, I suppose we'll just simply have to go with Elemental Beats. Starfall. Oh, just, you know, casually cl crash a meteor into the party. That's fine. Well, I mean, at least this way we are doing something to them. Oh, but he just simply heals one auto and he can just simply steal life. Come on. Just our physical actually isn't really that good against him. I mean, when we crit, we actually do a bit of damage, but outside of that, then. Oh, and Guy's dead. Well, that's why we have the life spell. Oh, could you not cast Starfall there? Oh my goodness. Uh, guy is still alive somehow. And he just... okay, that's... Just one shot Leon, huh? Great. How? Um, okay, I don't think I'm prepared for this. Because, I mean, if he can restore that much health, then we... I think we might need to do a quick training montage in the background before we can take on the Emperor. I mean, we're definitely gonna try. Go make the good old college attempt, but... I... honestly... oh my goodness. Yeah... Can we flee? Can't escape. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you know what? I think it's time to take the L here. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to need to just simply have to take the L and... Well... We are obviously not prepared. <laughs> so... We're going to have to train up, become stronger, and yeah, oh my goodness, why does the Emperor have to take, have to have like a life draining attack, even Chaos wasn't, didn't have like bullshit like that, alright, well, I suppose that's just going to be it for today's episode then, but in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed it, and make sure the like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button to so you guys and gals that make this channel alive. So, uh, training montage coming up soon. See you all next time.